India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. There are a lot of significant contributions that India has made to the world in the field of art, science, mathematics and so on. A lot of modern day inventions are based on the principles that were created in India right from the mythological age. Let's take a look at the amazing ancient Indian inventions that changed the modern world. The following are regarded as technological first developed in India and as such does not include foreign technologies which India acquired through contact. It also does not include technologies or discoveries developed elsewhere and later invented separately in India nor inventions by Indians in other places. In the classical period of Indian mathematics that is 400 CE to 1600 CE important contributions were made by scholars like Aryabhatta, Brahmagupta, Mahavira, Bhaskara II Madhava of Sangam Grama and Nilakantha Somyaji. The decimal number system in worldwide use today was first recorded in Indian mathematics. Indian mathematicians made early contributions to the study of the concept of zero as a number and also negative numbers, arithmetic and algebra. In addition, trigonometry was further advanced in India and in particular, the modern definitions of sine and cosine were developed here. These mathematical concepts were transmitted to the Middle East, China and Europe and led to further development that now form the foundations of many areas of mathematics. Kannad came up with the idea that Anu, that is atom, was an indestructible particle of matter. An interesting story states that this theory occurred to him while he was walking with food in his hand. As he nipped at the food in his hand, throwing away the small particles, it occurred to him that he could not divide the food into further parts and thus the idea of a matter which cannot be divided further came into existence. He called that indivisible matter Anu, that is molecule, which was misinterpreted as atom. Kannad pursued his fascination with the unseen world and with conceptualizing the idea of the smallest particle. He began writing down his ideas and teaching them to others. Thus, people began calling him Acharya, the teacher, hence the name Acharya Kannad the teacher of small particles. The history of chess can be traced back nearly 1500 years, although the earliest origins are uncertain. The earliest predecessor of the game probably originated in India, before the 6th century AD. A minority of historians believe that the game was originated in China. From India, the game spread to Persia, where the Arabs conquered Persia. Chess was taken up by the Muslim world and subsequently spread to the Southern Europe. In Europe, chess evolved into roughly its current form in the 15th century. Other games originated in India are Ludo and Snake and Ladders. Diamonds are thought to have been first recognized and mined in India, where significant alluvial deposits of the stone could be found many centuries ago along the rivers Penair, Krishna and Godavari. Diamonds have been known in India for at least 3000 years. Diamonds have been treasured as gemstones since their use as religious icons in ancient India. Reconstructive surgery techniques were being carried out in India by 800 BC. Sushruta was a physician that made important contributions to the field of plastic and cataract surgery in 6th century BC. The medical works of both Sushruta and Charak, originally in Sanskrit, were translated into Arabic language during the Abbasid Caliphate in 750 AD. The Arabic translations made their way into Europe by intermediaries. Yoga is a physical, mental and spiritual practice or discipline which originated in ancient India. The origins of yoga have been speculated to date back to pre-Vedic Indian traditions as said in Rig Veda, but most likely developed around 6th and 5th centuries BC. Yoga gurus from India later introduced yoga to the West following to the success of Swami Vivekananda in the late 19th and early 20th century. In the 1980s, yoga became popular as a system of physical exercise across the Western world. Yoga in Indian traditions, however, is more than physical exercise. It has a meditative and spiritual core. On December 11th, 2014, the 193 members of United Nations General Assembly approved a resolution establishing 21st June as International Day of Yoga. The declaration of this day came after the call for the adoption of 21st June as International Day of Yoga by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his address to UN General Assembly on 27 September 2014. During his address to UN General Assembly, 
He also mentioned that yoga is India's precious gift to the world. So which one of these facts you found most fascinating? Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more interesting stuff. You can also suggest the topic for the next video in the comment section. Thank you and see you the next time.